So this mod makes ChatGPT only reply in one sentence, and I'm gonna get it to summarize World War II. So this is World War II summarized in one sentence. That's wild. So it's actually been able to summarize World War II in literally one sentence. I don't know how it's been able to do that. This mod is crazy. What if I told you that you can mod ChatGPT in the same way that you mod a video game or a card to completely change the way that it thinks, writes, reasons, and even argues with you? And it really isn't hard at all. You don't need codings, any plugins, or special tools. All you need to do is get the right prompt in the right place and then boom, your ChatGPT is modded and it's a completely different AI. So in this video, I'm going to show you 12 of the most insane ChatGPT mods. I'll also be showing you how you can set these mods up, testing some of them out, and if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how you can get access to these completely for free. I'll also show you how you can set them up, and then once you do, I promise you will never use ChatGPT the same. Okay, so before we get into some testing, I want to show you how you can actually install these mods into your ChatGPT in literally like 30 seconds. So this is what the database of the 12 ChatGPT mods actually look like. And the first step that you need to do to install these is first come to the super prompt and you want to copy the super prompt to your clipboard. Okay, so once you're in ChatGPT, there's two ways that you can go about installing these mods. The first way that you could do is simply just paste it into a new chat and tell it to update its memory. So you would get this and then you would just come down here and say, please update this to your memory and then you would hit save obviously i'm not going to do that and then that would work for within this chat but for best results what i would recommend doing is come and creating a new project this means that you can really get the benefits and keep this version of chat gpt in one place so you create a new project you can come in and give it a name example mod create the project and once the project's created you have a separate section to add in instructions you just come in here grab the mod and install it so all you need to do from here is come to instructions click on this and then paste in the super prompt that we got from the database or if you've made your own paste it in here click save and then you're good to go you've got the mod installed and there's even an option here where you can add in your own files knowledge about your business your team your job whatever you can add this in here and then it will be able to retrieve that information in the context of a chat so now we know how to install these mods let's go and give some of them a test then after that i'll show you how you can get access to these 12 mods completely for free okay so the first test is going to be the one line oracle and this mod will condense any input into one potent sentence it cannot write paragraphs it cannot write essays it only can output in one sentence so let's give it a test first question what is elon musk trying to do very vague and it would be very very easy to answer this question reshape civilization by controlling core levers of humanity's future energy transportation ai space and communication not bad let's step it up a notch bmw or mercedes bmw for driving field mercedes for luxury press and let's go for something a little more genuine. Why do I keep procrastinating even when I care about my goals? Your brain prioritizes short-term comfort over long-term meaning because the goal feels abstract and the cost of action feels immediate. It's quite deep. Let's ask it a hard question. If an alien came down to earth and asked you what is or was the single most impactful nation or country throughout all of humanity's history, what would you say from a completely neutral view? Rome, its legal systems, architecture, language roots, and empire models shaped the foundation of Western civilization. You get the idea. Now, I don't know about you guys but i use chat gpt a lot whenever i just think of something random and i have a question like that and this is what this is really really good for this is like the new version of google especially whenever you're asking for like opinions or thoughts on something anyway there's only very limited uses of the one line oracle that actually can be used ultimately the one line oracle is really really good at what it does and for that reason we have given it a five star rating okay so on to the next one and this is going to be zero fog mode this cuts all fluff returns direct unfiltered responses only so i'm going to grab the prompt and go and install this okay zero fog mode is set up let's give it a test what is the fastest way to sign your first three clients okay and you can see the response here is actually really good i would suggest pause this and read through you would never get this from chat gpt you notice there's no emojis there's no fluff text there's no follow-up questions it's just pure advice yeah so with zero fog mode this is really really good to use or just to have open whenever you're working really cold quick and sharp answers this works really really well with gpt 4.0 it's just fast it's super super quick and super clean there's no fluff anyway i I wouldn't really recommend using this for like writing proposals or cold emails. I was just using this for example. But anyway, let's go and give this a score. Zero fog mode is so flexible and so adaptable. You can literally use it whenever you want for any task. It's the best all rounder. Another honorable mention is rapid fire mode. These are the three for output manipulation. Rapid fire mode basically mods ChatGPT so it can only respond in bullet points. Super, super helpful for 
lists or research. So now we're going to check out the decider. So I'm going to grab the super prompt and go and set this up. I've also added a quick note here that this mod actually works best whenever you add in a little bit of context because obviously if it's going to be making decisions on behalf of you, then it needs to know a lot more about your business, about your team, your role, your job, etc, etc, where you are in life, your country. Adding as much context as possible makes the decider a lot better. Okay, so the decider is set up. Let's give it a test. So this is really good at basically using what it knows about you to make the best informed decision. Best model is probably 4.0, 4.0 mini. I mean, these all work completely fine. So I'll give it a very, very uh, hard question. Let's go. Okay, so the question is, should I double down on my agency's client base or launch a paid community? Well, this is actually a big decision that we had to make at Africa's AI, our agency, a few months ago. But ultimately, we stuck to the decision of doubling down on our clients. So let's see what uh, the decider has to say. Okay, so it just came back with a really, really impressive answer. Obviously, this has context and knowledge about Efficacy AI and who I am because I literally use this like all day every day but ultimately the recommendation came down to double down on the agency's client base unless your audience is already begging for a community which is actually a very very fair answer and as you can see we're making the trusty World War 2 test it cannot respond unless it is given a tough decision to help with honestly the decider is really really good so I have decided to give the decider a five star rating it is incredible whenever you're using it in the right context whenever there actually is a tough decision to make and it has context and knowledge about you or your business or whatever it is so good so another great mention but anyway on to the next one well, the plan was for this video i was only going to do the five star mods but i'm going to go for a four star one because this one is very very close to making the list and it's the growth intelligence analyst or just a data analyst basically what i can do is I can analyze financial data or any real type of data and build strategic dashboards okay so just a few notes about this mod it works best with a gpt04 mini high basically really really good at coding a very smart and uh, like a reasoning model because we're building dashboards and doing a lot of coding, this is by far the best one to use. Anyway, I'm going to grab the prompt and we'll go and get set up. Okay, so we are in. We've set it up and I've said, can you analyze this MRR data? I've got the mod installed and I've got this prompt in, basically asking it to analyze this MRR data, telling it to plot it over time, make a graph and identify any anomalies. Let's go. So we can see it's plotted it all on a nice looking graph here. It has generated an interactive dashboard where you can actually see the bullet points. You can also like customize the colors and all. Very, very cool. As identified the anomaly obviously the dip here in um, in april also some very nice predictions made here as well you could download this chart very very easy to share this is definitely one of my favorites so the growth analyst data analyst whatever you want to call it is absolutely incredible mod the only reason i've given it four stars is because you probably won't really need to use it that often but other than that it's incredible now i wish i could go through and test all of these because there's a lot of cool ones that i haven't even touched on but i'm sure you can go and test them out yourself i didn't want to drag this video away too long no one attention spans these days i just wanted to test a few of the coolest ones and especially a lot of these thinking and reasoning ones are very sort of uh, personalized where you really need to give a lot of context to it and add in some information so it works best on a personal level. Anyway, enough of that. Here's how you can get access to all of these for free. So if you head into the description, you'll see a link that says Learning Center Access. Click on that link and that will get you access completely for free and it will take you to our Learning Center. Once you're in our Learning Center, not only can you get these prompts for free, but there's like loads of stuff here that you can also get. I mean, there's make automations, there's relevance agents, there's voice flow templates. I mean, the whole heap is in here. Endless value for free. And if you come into AI guides and advice, and then yeah, these ones aren't very pretty because it's all just sort of tech stuff. And if you come down here, the 12 best ChatGPT mods, click on this, you will get access completely completely for free. Download it, share it with your friends, shout it from the rooftops. It's completely for free. That's how you get access. It's as easy as that. So yeah, with the right mods, ChatGPT really isn't much of a chatbot anymore. It's basically a team of specialists inside one interface that you can have at your disposal, ready to use. And those were just five. I mean, we've got loads more in the Notion doc. We've got team architects. We've got customer chameleons that can literally step into the persona of your ICP or customers. There's so much more value in there. So make sure you get to the Learning Center and get all this stuff for free. And also for my next video, I'm thinking about getting some of these mods and tying them into workflows, tying them into make automations to really get the most out of their power and their efficiency. But if you have stuck around this far into the video, thank you so much. Please consider liking and subscribing. I would seriously appreciate it. Also, if you are a business owner and you're looking for a automated lead generation system that actually works with proven results, head to the description, check out our website, go to our Calendly link and book in. We can have a chat, no problem at all. But enough of that. I had a lot of fun making this video. Thanks very much for sticking around to the end and I'll see you in the next one.